Hello everyone, this is Parimita Haloy of 4th Professional Year BBC and AH, Lakhimpur College of Veterinary Science. I shall be discussing today on a very important disease that is leptospirosis in bovine. Before I proceed further, this is a disclaimer that this presentation has been prepared by the undergraduate student of Lakhimpur College of Veterinary Science to provide as much as accurate information as possible. However, I do not encourage people to use this information provided in the presentation for scientific work without any cross-verification of the data. This is strictly for educational purpose, not for commercial use. Further, the information in the presentation should not be used for treatment without consulting a registered practitioner. Now coming to the first slide. Leptospirosis is a zoonotic disease characterized by fever, hemolytic anemia, hemoglobin urea, and interstitial nephritis. It is also an occupational disease likely to affect people working in environment prone to infestation with the rodents, which are primary reservoir host of this disease. Leptospirosis is also known as Wells disease, infectious zondis, rice field workers disease, and sugarcane workers disease. Now etiology. In cattle, leptospirosis is mainly caused by leptospira pomona, leptospira gripotiosa, leptospira canicola, leptospira icterohemorrhagia, and leptospira harjo. These are characteristically coiled or spiral shaped filamentous with hook ends and actively motile due to flexibility and have characteristic corkscrew like motility, as shown in the picture. Now coming to the epidemiology, leptospirosis is found throughout the world. The infection is more prevalent in warm, moist climates and is endemic in most of the tropics. In temperate climates, the disease is more seasonal with the highest incidence after the periods of rainfall. Economic importance of leptospirosis is due to high morbidity that is up to 30%, followed by abortion and less of milk production. Calves are more susceptible and likely to develop septicemic form of the disease. The source of infection. Urine of infected animals is main source of infection. In cattle, the organisms excreted up to 4 to 5 weeks with highest incident in first half of this period. The mode of transmission. The transmission among maintenance host is often direct and involves contact with the infected urine about the fetus, placental fluids or milk. Grazing of animal in infected soil may acquire the infection. In addition, the infection can be transmitted venerally and transplacentally. Human may acquire the infection as occupational hazards, particularly the dairy farmers, attendance of cattle shed during milking or abattoir workers and butchers. Now coming to the pathogenesis. After entry through bloodstream, leptospira reaches cerebrospinal fluid and all visceral organs. The severity of tissue damage in acute infection is related to the rate of multiplication of the organisms, particularly in blood, liver, spleen, and brain. Highly virulent strains have high multiplication rate. The lesions of leptospira are due to damage to the vascular endothelium, resulting in increased permeability, hemorrhagic diathesis, and decreased oxygen supply to the tissue. In kidney, leptospira reaches through hematogenous root and cause glomerular injury and damage to the peritubular capillaries and then migrate to the interstitial and renal tubules, results in renal failure. In cerebrospinal fluid, leptospirosis is found during first week of infection. Localization of the organisms in gravid uterus results in abortion, which is generally in the last trimester. Damage in the endothelial tissue of mammary gland may result in mastitis. Clinical signs of leptospirosis depend on the degree of resistance or immunity within the herd or it may depend upon the involvement of the organs. 
when there is adequate resistance usually when have good vaccination programs some of the herd may be infected but not so its signs within the herds that have low resistance the cows that are infected may show their signs there are three forms of leptospirosis acute subacute or chronic in acute cases it often affects the calves Cows may show high fever with dullness and anorexia, jaundice, hemoglobinuria. There has also been menin meningitis recorded. Usually, death may occur. In subacute cases, signs are milder. N nursing mother has reduced milk yield and it becomes dull. Hemolytic jaundice and hemoglobinuria may also be seen. With some cases, abortion occurs about a month later. In chronic cases, it affects pregnant cows and causes abortions, severe and urea, and causes stillbirth, birth of weak calves. And in dairy cows, due to mastitis, there is decrease in milk production. And in lactating cows, fever, presence of yellow clotted blood tinge in milk, followed by a galaxia without swelling of udder, which is also known as cold mastitis. Now coming to the diagnosis. Diagnosis is mainly based on history and clinical findings. The laboratory findings like hematology in hemolytic anemia, leukopenia, isolation of organisms in urine, blood and tissues and direct microscopic examination. Histopathological senses, serological taste like animal inoculation, fat of urine or tissue, Elijah, microscopic agglutination taste, uh, and microscopic agglutination test is widely used for diagnosis of leptospira infection where leptospiral cells are used as antigen. A titer of 1 risk to 100 or above indicates present or past infection. It is quite sensitive or specific test. And we have to differentiate the disease leptospirosis with the following disease like post hemoglobin hemoglobinuria, Babesiosis, anaplasmosis, bacillary hemoglobin urea, brucellosis, vibriosis, and trichomoniasis. As these diseases have some common signs and symptoms with the leptospirosis. Now coming on to the treatment. In general, treatment includes antibiotics like streptomycin at the rate of 12 mg per kg body weight IML. Penicillin at the rate of 44,000 IU per kg body weight IML, ampicillin at the rate of 22 mg per kg body weight every 8 hour, doxycycline at the rate of 5 mg per kg body weight once daily. Blood transfusion can also be given in hemolytic anemia. Efforts should be made to control the infection before irreparable damage to the liver and kidneys. Above antibiotics along with the corticosteroid can be used to control the shedding of organisms in the urine. As we know, prevention is better than cure, so we have to quarantine any new cow that come into the herd. Separate the infected cows from non-infected cows. Annual vaccination of all serovers. Lepto vaccine in US include five serovers like Leptospira herjo, Leptospira pomona, Leptospira icterohemorrhagia, Leptospira canicola, and Leptospira gripotiosa. This vaccine is also known as 5 away Lepto vaccine. Replacement of the heifers and young bulls should be vaccinated twice as soon as possible after entering into the herd. Managemental methods to reduce transmission from rodents and wildlife. These are the references of the presentation. That's it. Hope it was an informative presentation. Thank you everyone for patient listening.